Right, I'm going to look at the electrolysis of, of molten lead bromide today. Now, the apparatus I've got is as normal. I've got a power pack, which is set on DC, to ensure we get electrolysis. The black lead, if you pull it round, and I've got a whole selection of black leads, connects to a carbon electrode, which is called the cathode. The red leads come from the positive terminal, and that leads to another carbon electrode, which is called the anode. The, the lead bromide is inside this metal crucible. And the reason why I am using metal crucible is I need to go to a fairly great height and I don't want any chance of breaking. I'm using a pipe clay triangle rather than a gauze. That allows me to get a much greater uh, temperature because we've got nothing to conduct it away. So what I'm doing now, I'm using a roaring flame to melt the lead bromide. I'm going to turn this on. As you can see already, because the lead bromide isn't melted, there's no conduction occurring because, because we've got a solid, the ions are not free to move. Do you want to just pull that? Now, as you can see now, the lead bromide is molten. Our lamp is light, showing that conduction is occurring. And this is happening because the ions are now free to move and to carry the charge. As a result of that, we are getting chemical reactions occurring at the two electrodes. I need this to be a bit hotter yet before I can point out what the products are. Now we've only got two ions in here. We have a lead ion and we have a bromide ion. The lead ion has a positive charge and the bromide ion has a negative charge. So which electrode do you think each will move toward? Now, because the lead has a positive charge, it will move towards a negative electrode, i.e. that which is connected to the black lead, and that is the cathode. The bromide, which has a negative charge, will be attracted towards the positive electrode here, which is the anode, Now, as you can see now, we've got a yellowy brown fumes coming off, and that's iodine, that's uh, sorry, bromine. I'm going to put the Bunsen back under again. Now, what you will see then, we we'll get it back up again, is that there is bubbling at the positive electrode, and that bubbling at the positive electrode is the bromine being formed. There's no bubbling at the negative electrode because we've got lead being formed there. Now if you look at the, the cathode here this has got it's got a grey tinge at the bottom because that is where lead is formed in this electrolysis. So let me remind you of the products. We've got molten lead bromide when we electrolyze it we get lead formed at the cathode and at the anode was brown fumes of the bromine. In molten electrolysis, there are only two products ever, the metal formed at the cathode and the non-metal which is formed at the anode. 